I smell war with the southeast if they refuse the northerners into their state. Jerima Shetima claims most Nigerians have been wondering why northern youths often send still away in trailers and trucks appear to have suddenly found states in the southeast and other parts of the southern Nigeria as a safe haven. The youth influx in the area came despite a total ban against interstate movement by the federal and state governments across Nigeria to avert COVID-19 spread. This move by the Northern Youth has created suspicion among the anticipated host communities in the Southeast. These Northern Youth appear to have fled from the recent regular bombardments by the Nigerian military against Oko people and other insurgents across the Northern Nigeria to safer zones. Prior to what appears to be a scheduled movement, the president of Arawa Youth, Yerima Shetima, was quoted as saying that Nigeria is our country and we have the right to move from one state to another. Shetima was also quoted as saying that no governor in the south should stop any northern from entering their states even if they are positive to COVID-19. Contrary to the federal and state government, directives to stop COVID-19 from spreading. According to him, there are many eagles in the north and we are not chasing them away. If the south governors stop our youth from entering their states, then there will be war. Every Igbo man must leave the north. What happened in 1967 would be a child's play. Yerima Shetima threats seems to have been born out of ignorance since Northern youth have continued to be intercepted and returned back to wherever they were coming from by various state governments and in line with the federal government's directives on interstate lockdown. The influx looks well coordinated, leading to questions on the lips of the affected states, which include who are the person organizing the North youths in this direction, and for what purpose, who are their transport managers that procure trailers and trucks for them, and who ensure easy passage from one state to another despite security operatives at the state borders and why we are they not stopped until they get to their respective destinations. On Wednesday, May 13, 2020, over 40 Northern youths who claimed they came from the north parts of the country were stored away in Dangote truck, but they were intercepted at the Omodike junction of Abba Road, Omwahia, by men of traffic and Indiscipline Management Agency of Abia State, TIMAS, with the support of the Nigerian police. TIMAS operatives were said to have received intelligence reports that a Dangote truck carrying the youth was approaching the area from the Oka Akwaibom state axis of the border and immediately mounted surveillance. On sighting the truck, the officers flagged it down and inquired from the, from the driver what he was carrying. The driver replied that the truck was empty, but when the official climbed the truck to ascertain things for themselves, they found over 40 northern youths lying on the floor of the enclosed cargo space of the truck and invited nearby police officers to join in arresting them. Daily independence gathered. When the truck and its human cargo were taken to the office of the State Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Janet Agbede, she interrogated the driver and directed that the Northern Youth should be escorted back to Akwaibom 
end of the border from where they entered Abia State. The State Commissioner for Homeland Security, Prince Dan Okoli, warned that henceforth drugs carrying human cargoes into the state will be decisively dealt with in line with the directives from the federal government banning interstate movement. He called on all neighboring states to strengthen monitoring and enforcement of the restrictions on interstate movement at their various borders to help control the spread of COVID-19 from the state to state. Earlier precisely on May 7, 2020, two Dangote trucks with 26 Northern youths hidden in their buckets were intercepted by the Abia State Equano local government area joint security team on COVID-19. Few meters away from Abia, Aquaibom State borders. Another Dangote truck was also involved same day, smuggling another 24 Northern youth into the state. At the intercepted trucks in Ariam Osaka checkout checkpoint, the Commissioner for Homeland Security, President Okoli, said that all these movements are contrary to the federal government ban on interstate movement, warning that the state government may ban the operation of Dangote trucks within and through the state throughout the period of COVID-19 pandemic. To the TC chairman of Equino local government area, Deacon Stanley Ojibo, it came to him as a shock that the truck were allowed access into the state despite military checkpoints at the border, adding that the COVID-19 pandemic will be defeated if leaders from different states work together. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, this is serious. Drums of war. <laughs> you see, Yerima Shetima, I, I used to say that this guy doesn't, uh, he, 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 he really need to understand things before he starts saying anything. I want to believe that he's learned and it's not like um, any other house. Because um, uh, some of the things he do say used to baffle me. How can you be saying that there will be war? if any southeast refuse to accommodate the northerners ask yourself this question how did they enter the southeast are you asked are you do you understand how did you enter the south how did they enter the southeast did they enter the southeast in a in a in a legal means or in a comfortable means they, they entered the southeast in a, in an illegal means in and also in a period when the federal government has announced a lockdown so do you not expect the southeast to go beyond the laws of this of, of this of the of, of the country so the southeast refusing them or it refused them an entry has not has not offended they are only following the directives of the federal government and it is illegal for them to enter this out is in this in this form Look at what they just said. The policemen that stopped them while they are trying to gain entrance in Imo to Imo State asked them, as the driver, what is in your truck? He said, nothing. Only to check and saw 40, 140 uh, uh, Northerners lying inside the truck. What are we saying? 
Are you trying to defend criminals? So, my viewers, please, your your voice are very, very important concerning this issue. So that Yerima Shetima will get to understand that you really need to understand things before uh, making any point. So what's your comment concerning this? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.